Hi everybody, how are ya? Um, hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. Uh, for this month's craft, since it's going to be Halloween, I thought we'd do some uh, Victorian witches. And this is what it looks like before you start, which I hope you got your bag. And here's a few samples that I did just so you could see what um, different kinds of materials you can work with to make them. And this was the one Catherine posted on the um, web page. So I already uh, cut the Victorian um, dolls out for you. So all you have to do is decorate them and you could do it any way you want. I'm just gonna go through some of the materials so you know what you could do with them or how to use them. So the first thing I did was I took a piece of cardstock and I measured the uh, dress, the skirt. Now, if you wanted to, you could put it all the way up here and, and you know, put this cardstock on her uh, shoulders and uh, the dress all the way down. You can make it longer like I did here. I made it longer and I put a little, um, it says dance the night away. So I'm just gonna cut this out first and I'm just gonna use it from the uh, waist down. And I kind of see, I put it like that so I can um, cut it to the size. And um, also just remember when you cut it, because I, I did something where I put this on the front and cut it from the back and it didn't fit right. So just make sure you're doing it um, if you're going to cut it this way. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cover it anyway with different things. So just as long as you get the estimated amount um, of the size, it's fine. You want to make sure her uh, waist is cut out though because that's where you're going to start to decorate. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on to her dress. And I have um, regular glue stick and I also have tacky glue um, here cause it kinda holds it better. But whatever you have, you can use. Okay, so I glued her skirt on. And now what you want to do is just build up from there with the materials that you have. Uh, so let's see. Um, I like this. Uh, it's like a um, tool, but it has the leaves on it. So I'm going to take this and try and gather it here. So I can make like a, um, it comes out more almost like a ball gown. Um, so if you want to do something like that, you can do that. Um, you can take like this uh, webbing if you wanted to put that on to cover it and just leave it hanging. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that instead. I like the way that looks. Or, um, I have regular tool that I gave you and that you could do the same thing. You could bunch it up uh, and do it like that. Oh, can you see? There you go. Or you could even make a bow with this if you wanted to. You know, you just tie it up like so or make a shawl. Um, it really is up to you, whatever you want to do. So go ahead and um, 
try to decorate the waist. I might put both of these on. And what I do to, to gather the um, tool is I take the um, rubbing glue and I rub it against there and just gather it and hold it for a while to make it stick. Okay, so I have this. Now I'm gonna try to glue it on here. And you have to, you might have to use a lot of glue. You might not have to use a lot. It all depends on how the material sticks. And it, your fingers, of course, are gonna get sticky from the glue. If you take a piece of paper or a wooden end or something, it might help just to hold the glue down. So then I'm going to cut, um, see this excess here, I'm going to cut that. So see, she's got a little slip on. Now I'm gonna build on top of that. I'll probably give her a little waist belt because that'll help to hold the, um, the skirt down. And if you have some material around your house that you could use, you know, feel free to use it to add to it. So I cut out this little piece and I'm gonna put it on her, her waist here. I'm gonna use some tacky glue because this isn't staying too well. Okay, so there she has a little waistband and now I'm just gonna build onto that. I glued the tool and then I put this black netting on it. I just glued it. Uh, and then I'm gonna work on her blouse now. What I did was I took a piece of cray paper and just folded it. And I made it like a little uh, turtleneck here and I'm gonna put some sleeves on her now. Um, you can use these cupcake liners if you, you know, they make like a fan shape. If you wanted to add to your dress, you can make like, um, I'm sorry, little ruffles here. But I think I'm going to make sleeves out of these. So I cut the cupcake in half. So I folded the cupcakes in half and see I made some sleeves for her. And she has a little um, lace hanging down her uh, arm here. So what I might do is take some tool and just put it on there. So I took my tool and I put it around her neck like that and I tied it at the ends. And you could puff this up if you want. You could play with it. You know, then I put two beads on um, her shirt to make her look like, you know, she's got a high neck um, turtleneck on with some uh, rhinestones. And um, now I'm gonna put some hair on her. And I gave you some, um, black 
wool and it kind of looks like it's curly. So you could give your uh, doll long hair, you could give her short hair. I'm actually gonna make like a bun for her. You gotta, you're gonna have to hold the wool for a little bit to make it stick. And it could be crazy wild. You can cut it to, you know, suit what you want. Um, also, I forgot, if you have like a, a pink um, crayon or magic marker, you can just like shade in her cheeks a little bit. So there she is with her hair. And then I'm gonna give her a hat. And let's see what color hat we will do. Maybe this, because it goes with the outfit. So to make the hat, I just cut a triangle. I start off big, like that. And of course that's going to be too big for her. If you want to have a brim, you're going to cut in each corner. See? That corner and that corner. And then you're going to take your, one of the sides and cut it on a triangle and then come down to where you cut the other piece and there you have a brim. I like my witches with brims. They, I don't know, I feel like they look better. She's a good witch though. I don't create bad witches. I'm just holding it down to let the um, glue dry on it a little bit. Um, where did I put? Here it is. Okay, I gave you some of this um, purple, and this is adhesive on the back. I think I'm gonna cut it and put it on her hat. And there's your dressed up witch. So you can do whatever you like. It's your design. You're the design, the fashion designer. So design your witch the way you want. And I gave you a little piece of string. I don't have it with me now, but a little piece of string you just tape to her back. And if you want, you can hang it up with a thumbtack or hang it on a nail, um, whatever you want to do. But have a happy Halloween. Till next time. Bye.